Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're back to Tinley Park Public Library's Weekly Discovery. I'm Sue Bailey, and today we're going to talk about the latest uh, topic, our digital collection. I'm here with Graham Dostel, um, virtual services librarian, and uh, we're going to uh, give you some great information. Um, Graham, you know, uh, a lot of patrons ask us, you know, you're going to be closed a couple days over the holidays. How do I, uh, am I out of luck, or how do I access books and, and uh, you know, the things I really need? Sure. So the library, uh, library's website is always open 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. You can always access library ebooks and our, all of our digital uh, collections online um, at tplibrary.org slash borrow. Okay. Uh, you can start with ebooks for example. Okay, great. So we've got these ebooks. Um, you know, how does the average person get started? <laughs> sure. Well, it just so happens there's a brand new app available uh, okay. that makes it really easy to check out and start reading ebooks from the library. The app okay. is called Libby and um, it, you can find it for Apple and Android devices okay. and um, all you'll need is your library card number, and uh, you'll be able to find the library, and with your library card, check out and download and start reading an ebook easily. Oh, great. Um, you know, is there more than just ebooks that I can access, you know, when the library's not officially open? Sure. Actually, there's an additional app uh, called uh, Hoopla, and in addition to ebooks, it also has audiobooks that you can stream and listen to, uh, which is great for long road trips, especially. Oh, sure. And um, it also contains um, movies and TV shows and comic books and, um, and, and of course, ebooks to read as well. Wow, that's, that's a lot of great material and services for for library patrons and all three, um, you know, it, it, it's amazing. And I guess I'd leave, need to know, is there anything else we need to know to get, before we get started? Is there any other little tip? Sure. These apps uh, generally make it really easy to access and start downloading and streaming the okay. content. Um, usually, in addition to creating a, an account uh, in within the app itself, the only other thing step that's required is entering your library card number and the PIN number associated with it, uh, which is like your passcode that's associated with your library account. So this, um, if you don't know it or you think you haven't set up one yet, uh, you should contact the library uh, and give us a call and we can help you set one up. Um, if you think you've already have one set up and you have an email address associated with your library account, um, you can usually go through the uh, usual um, email reco password recovery process to establish or to um, recover your library PIN number. Okay. Um, so that makes it pretty easy as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just create an account and enter your library card number and the PIN number. Okay, and I know we have great staff here at the library that can help you through the process if it seems a little daunting. Um, so basically, we're uh, going to wrap this one up for this week. Um, we're, of course, closed occasionally during the upcoming holidays, but we're always open at tplibrary.org slash borrow. Uh, see you next time.